Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus, the topic that is about differential equations. So now I want to show you how to answer. We have s y s square y square. They are the read number two. So we can use about homogeneous. So we can use about y equal to vx. That means we need to do first derivative for the both sides. So we do first derivative of v. We have number 1 dv over the s multiplied by s. This one we have number 1. So we have v. So this is about the product proof of derivative. So this one we change by this one. Y we change by Vs. Now we simplify S square for the both side and we have 2V. This one we have number 1. This one we have 3V square. Later that we divide both sides by 2V. Now we need to open parentheses. So V I will put on the right and we have negative V. So 3 over 2V minus V, we have 1 over 2V. So this one, I will put on the left, the S and S, I will put on the right. Now, we need to put the integration for the both sides. Now we need to consider on this one. So we put 1 over 2 go outside, that is about number 2. Next, we need to multiply by V on numerator and denominator. So the integration of this one. That is about Fn of the absolute value of 1 plus V square. And I will put about C. Now we go back in here. The integration of this one, that is about this one. The integration of this one, we have Fn of the absolute value of S. And I will put about C. So I will put this one, go to the left. Now we have the formula in here. Fn8 minus Fnb equals to Fn of 8 over B. So this one minus this one, we have Fn of the absolute value of 1 plus V square over S. About V, that is about this one. We divide both sides by S. And now we need to change V into this one. Now we multiply both sides by S square. Next, we put E for the both sides. So 
so we have the formula in here so we need to transform this one into this one and that should be like this We know that e to the power of c, we can consider that is about the constant. So I will put about c. The value of c, they can be positive or negative. We can cancel the absolute value. And now we multiply both sides by s to the power of 3. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.